That is how I love my dough and my booties. <laughs> you know me, guys. I'm excited. I hope you guys too. And oh wow. Just look at all the cream. What is up my beautiful people and welcome to a new video on my channel. I am Alan Twente Gizang from Germany, but right now in Barcelona, day number three. We are here at La Boqueria, it's a famous street food market. So I will get myself something from the uh, live book and also just because I want to try Duncan's. But anyways, thanks for clicking and yeah. But if you want to be the first behind this, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I will get right now the food. And yeah, I love you all guys. Hasta luego. Hello my friends, I'm at the La Boqueria and I found something that I really want to try for a long time. Brazilian dish, I think it's called conchinha and they're stuffed with chicken. Yes, all, all the smoothie fears, they got so many different flavors like Pitaya, coconut, papaya, coconut, kiwi, mango, pineapple, strawberry, mango, strawberry, banana. Oh wow, orange, lemon, mint, just everything, watermelon. But yeah guys, I go with the drink food one because I love the color and I love drink foods and we cannot get them in, we can't get them in Germany but they're super expensive there. So before we went home for all the things for my first meal of day number three they are super famous for cinnamon rolls and yeah cookies and all that stuff but they got amazing looking cinnamon rolls and I think I will go with one yeah and after that we will have one more spot but then I really have to go home <laughs> alright my friends I hope you can understand me because it's a little bit windy but yeah I'm at the Pastisseri Hoffmann and they are super famous for the croissants greetings to you both that you highly recommend and Almost everybody on Instagram recommend me to get the croissant with mascarpone. So let's get inside and get one. And then I think it's time to go home and make a feast with all the things. Guys, look at this croissant. Oh, wow. Six fifty-three. Just as you can see, my friend, it's time for the first round, and I make everything presentable right in front of us. It looks and smells amazing, and just like I said, I was at Duncan's first, so I think we will go with Duncan's first because we got so much sweets. And like in my first video, life is too short, guys. Eat dessert first, <laughs> and also what I wanted to try a drink. I got this from the La Boqueria. It's a dragon fruit smoothie and only the color. And you cannot get dragon fruit all the time in Germany. It's super expensive. So, salute my friends, chicas, chicos. Oh, this is so refreshing, cold, and exactly what I need. This is a Dulce de Leche Donut from Dunkin's. It's caramel condensed milk. Just my, one of my favorites and it's super popular in Spain too. So my first bite and first meal of day number three. Muy bien. No joke. The dough is so good, so underrated, so much better than in the US. Exactly like in Germany or better I think. And damn the the caramel and that smell. Mm. To all my donut lovers, I know you want to see some donuts. Oh wow. Mm. Wow. Oh, with the milk, just perfect. Alright. So let's come to the Tortilla de patata, I think it calls. So this is kind of a Spanish omelette and stuffed with a lot of potatoes. And this one is also with cheese and onions and the other one is just with onions. Just to see a difference, I bought this at the La Boqueria. Mmm. 
This is a typical dish in Spain. It's super heavy, over 300 grams about. Oh wow. Mmm. I love potatoes and they're super delicious, no joke. The spices that they use are in a combination. I think this is really heavy and dense, but wow, this is an amazing breakfast dish, I gotta say, to me. I exactly like this drink, oh wow. So, Duncan's Cronut with a chocolate place. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of the chocolate place, I gotta say, because it's really dark chocolate. But the dough is amazing. It's okay, but I wish they got a different place. But it's okay. Mmm. And again, I like nothing. Oily, but. Not bad, Angus. Definitely not bad. So let's eat the other. Mm. Then these tortillas are amazing. This is more eggy than the other one. Oh. And the nose can sip. Now it's time for the croissant from Pastisseria Hoffmann, from the bakery Hoffmann. And they are super, super famous here in Barcelona. So both fit, especially greetings to you, amigo. This is a croissant filled with mascarpone. Tear this apart, just as you can see all the filling, because I heard they stuffed them and oh wow. Just look at all the cream, all the mascarpone cream. Cheers my friends, let's try out Hoffmann's Mascarpone Croissant. Oh wow. Wow. They are definitely good. People are going crazy for the croissant. And I understand why. Wow. Super buttery. But 250 or something that I paid, it's pretty expensive for, for only one croissant. But it's a gourmet croissant. Viva Barcelona, viva Hoffmann, viva croissants. Damn, this is amazing. Just to perfection. Worth well, the 250 or 260, I don't know. Wow. All the sugar on top will do filling. First, I was thinking it would be too heavy, but definitely not. Super easy, easy and light to eat. Let's try out this bad boy. Also bought this at La Bucaria, and this is a cochinha. So, this is a Brazilian dish. So it's just dough that is deep fried and stuffed with a lot of chicken and yeah, the shape is kind of a teardrop. I really want to try this for a long time but I never saw this in Germany but here in Spain. 
So let's try this out. Yo, only the better. It's amazing, and the flavor from the chicken, heavy, dense. Oh wow, this is amazing. No joke. In Barcelona, you can get everything, and. This is what I was looking for. Not only Spanish food or something, I want to try everything that I cannot get in Germany. Son of the dough. Much love to all my Brazilian people out there. I love you all. One day I need to come to Brazil. Mm. Two euros fifty. Mm. And maybe I will get this again. I will bring it with me to Germany. I think there are also potatoes in the inside. I don't know. Like mashed up potatoes. But the flavor is all. Definitely on the heavier side, but I don't care. It was super delicious. You know, except for the last round from Demasier, I think it called the bakery, because I love the combination of apples with cinnamon. And you guys, you know me, I love my cinnamon. I'm a sucker for cinnamon. Pillowy, fluffy, bad boy. Exactly that is how I love my dough and my booties. <laughs> you know me, guys. Ah, so let's stop talking. First bite of my last item. Ah. Oh. Mama. What? Three fifty. It was. And damn. No joke. This is so juicy. So much flavor. So buttery. Ah. Oh. Wow. In Turkey, add only cinnamon and this from Demasi. The best cinnamon roll that I ever had in my life. I had cinnamon in the USA before, but mm -mm, no chance. The only thing at cinnamon that I love is <laughs> all the base, but that's all. But here the dough, just everything is on point, moist, and trust me, oh wow. Uh huh. Highly, highly recommend. Much love to Demasi. You guys are amazing. But no joke, this is a work of art. This is the piece that led us to for the first round, definitely. Mm. The apples with the cinnamon glaze. The perfect dough. Just one thing is missing to wash it down with some milk. That was all for round number one. I will clean myself up and then we will go to a restaurant for some Filipino foods. But let me know what was your favorite. But I think the cochinha. In the cinnamon roll, wow, hands down, my favorite. So we see you in the next one, my friends. Time for the next round, and here we are at Casada. It's a spot for Filipino food, and I never had it, and I really want to try for a long time. So, amigos, chicas, chicos, let's go inside and order some food. Oh, especially for the dessert I'm super excited for because they got something that I that I love me a lot. So stay tuned. First time of chicken adobo, first time Filipino cuisine. So let's see how it is. Look at this delicious chicken. Oh wow. Oh. 
and just to smell. And on the side, for sure, some rice. So, it is so tender. Let's see, guys, first bite. Mmm, the sauce is so thick. With double C. Wow. Mmm. This is exactly what I need. Yeah. I definitely need to try this to make it by my own. Sodium overload. More than okay. It's perfect, no joke. I love it. The chicken is so amazing, so oh, the sauce is so flavorful. Yeah, well, it's, it's a basic meal. Uh, it's, a it's, it's like home cooking, right? Yeah. Yeah, but this is what I need because I had so much sweets before and this is so much sodium and I love yeah. it. I love my sodium. Mmm. -hmm. Kasarab is masarab. It's delicious, tasty. Guys, you can definitely taste that this is a family business restaurant. They cook this with love. You can taste it. Wow. Nothing, guys. Like nothing. This is pan chicken tastic. I cannot get enough on this chicken. So finally, my proteins are a bit safe. Yeah, especially the skin, best part. It's just part of the bone. I think I never had so tender chicken before. A really hearty and amazing dish. So, it's time for the dessert. We got homemade ube ice cream, guys. We got a cassava cake. It's also homemade, some pieces of it that I can try. And we got the house made ube cheesecake. They also got a flan cake. But let's go with the ube cheesecake. It looks amazing, just oh, the purple heaven. <laughs> and I am so ready for it. You don't know guys, you know how much I love my ube. So let's try out the ice cream first. Wow. <laughs> my life, this is so amazing. It's so sorry. Strictly. Let's try the cassava, so the yuca, the yuca cake, guys. <laughs> this similar. Oh, it's so dish and the ice cream. Host me. Yeah. Oh. This. Better for me, for me, than the cinnamon roll. Better than everything that I had today, I think. Wow. The chicken adobo, just everything. Today was a perfect day for me. And I think I will call this the end for this video. So we have one video <laughs> in the book again. I highly recommend you, please, if you're in Barcelona, come to Casarab and try this out. Thank me later. If you don't like it, I will pay it for you. Trust me. Oh yeah.
I'm excited. I hope you guys too. <laughs> I could start to cry. This is so amazing. Oh, this is so good. And it's so dense and creamy. Like with the bottom, the graham cracker crust, I think it is. And the so strong flavor of the ube bo the winner of today's video is definitely the ube cheesecake and ice cream i think they made the crust with coconut together can i ask you something did you make the crust with cookies and coconut together? Yeah. Anyway, oh wow. You like it? This was the best thing that I had from the whole holiday so far. The ice cream and the cake. I, I cannot, I could start to cry, it's so good. No joke, this is amazing. This is so amazing. I could start to cry like this baby because my cake is gone right now. <laughs> exactly like the baby in the background, I could start to cry. Highly recommend this place. Much love. Thank you so much, Kasara, for everything. Speechless. Then I will end the video right now. And yeah, still we will see us in the next video. So, till we eat again. Love you all, guys. I'm in heaven.